Hey guys, how are you? I promised somebody I would make a video, a comprehensive video on how to change the display on the MKS TFT28. Um, so I posted a video earlier, so I'm gonna make this shorter and sweeter to you guys. Uh, things that you will need, you will need an MKS TFT28, you will need some type of board and a USB cable. Um, again, this video is just about showing you how to change these settings. Uh, the settings that are on the board right now are wrong. Usually when you turn on your board you will get this um, logo or a green uh, something similar. Right now as you can see is wrong because um, this is version 1.2 and I was just putting it up there so I can show you how to upgrade these. Um, so um, for purpose of this one I'm gonna actually just use the actual MKS right. Um, just to show you how easy it is to change. Um, you download your MKS, uh, it shows your red style or blue style, or choose red style classic, and you just copy these files right here. Transfer those files to your um, removable driver SD card. And once those files are transferred, you're just gonna take your SD card, you're gonna grab your screen, Put it on the SD, press the, press the red button of doom, right above the L blue LED. It's going to start booting and you're going to see right away it says update. And at some point or another it's going to start flash erasing everything from the card. So when you want to just load up a file, it's not going to reboot every time. Now while he's doing that, I wanted to talk to you about something that somebody asked me and I thought it was kind of important. This particular... Um, this particular um, um, settings, you can set up define buttons. You can define your own buttons. As you can see, you have one through seven. They all right now say G20X0. All these commands is just to send their home. Okay. Now you can add other six commands, more functions that you can add whatever command you want. For example, G28, G29, which is self calibration, and then you can put one four, which will check your temperature right before it starts printing. Again, just giving you examples of what you can do. And the important part here is that yes, you can make your own button for the interface, and you can make your own logos. However, again, just for purposes here, I'm using the presets just so I can show you fast and you can get the meat of what you need to do here. As you notice, the screen is different. I actually did that earlier. I put a Majorca screen logo onto it just so you see how easy that was to change. All right, that's a very nice logo on that. And as you can see, the buttons are still the same buttons from your MKS settings. Um, your filament, your calibrations, um, uh, these buttons right here, just show return, you see all that, is because those are the six custom buttons that you can use to put your own code, right? Alright, so with that being said, I hope this video was informational enough, it should have been easy to follow. If you want a video on how to update firmware, just please request it, the more requests I get, the easier it will be to post the video. And any other questions on this particular subject or how to make your own custom logos, please contact me on this Facebook page. Thank you guys. God bless you. Keep your uh, glass clean. Keep your bed hot and keep on trying to make it stick. Keep on 3D printing.